everyone this is shivani here welcome to my channel shivani creations how are you all so today i'm coming with this beautiful photo frame in hexagonal shape i will share how to create this beautiful base and how to make it sturdy how to make it stand along with these lovely flowers and this is very very easy to make as well you can gift it to anyone in any occasion like birthdays anniversaries or any festive season and you can just swipe the photograph from top isn't it looking very pretty i'm just loving the color combination so much so without any delay let's get started here i'm taking yellow color cardstock this is the light yellow cardstock having 250 gsm thickness and using 7 cm radius i'm just creating one circle on this and just using the same radius i am dividing this circle in six equal parts so that we will get the hexagon shape now i'm just joining all these markings using pencil and cutting the hexagon shape So this is ready. Now I have created one circle exactly in the center using 3 cm radius and using my cutter I am cutting this inner circle so that we can put our photograph inside this. like this then with the same method I have created one more hexagon with the circle hole using pattern paper all the measurements are same so I'm just connecting both the shapes together like this then taking one more hexagon shape which is made using 7 cm radius using light yellow cardstock and I'm just going to stick it on back side of this so that we can put our photograph so just to slide our photograph nicely I'm going to stick some pieces of mount board with this so I have just cut two pieces of mount board in triangle shape and one I'm going to stick it in the bottom so that the photograph will hold on its own place and now the center place for our photograph so just adding little glue on this mount board pieces and sticking the back hexagon shape and the base for photo frame is ready you can slide the photogram from top easily just like this Then here I am taking one more cardstock piece which is 27 by 4.5 cm from left side I have creased at 5, 10 
and 15 centimeters and we just need to fold it like a zigzag shape I'm making here the stand for our frame and now for the topmost flap I'm taking one more piece of cardstock which measures 5 by 4.5 centimeters I have just folded from top at 1 centimeter so adding glue on this folded flap and sticking with this strip like this and then taking back my frame and sticking the stand with the base so the frame is completely ready now you can stand it very easily and nicely on your desk now here I'm taking back my circle which we have cut from the cardstock and using five strips of gray color in 3mm just creating one ring around this circle to decorate the frame from front So ring is ready now just adding glue around this circular edge and sticking my gray color ring you can use any color combination here I am today using gray purple and yellow combination just matching with the pattern paper like this just sliding the ruler from this so that it will not stick with the base and allow it to dry for few minutes then it's time to decorate the frame from all the edge so here I'm taking this beautiful daisy border design this is a dye by rest my crowd but they also have the beautiful daisy punch so you can use any kind of punch which you have to decorate the borders and if you don't have punch you can also use ribbons to decorate the edges or simply you can add any contrast color paper strip on all the edges it will also look nice there are so many options to decorate the edges like pom pom laces crochet laces or pearls so according to your choice you can decorate it And this is done looking very very stunning now it's time to make the quilling flowers so for my first flower I'm taking here one strip of purple color dividing this in four equal parts and just we need to create four tight coils using these four one fourth strips Then taking my pencil and passing through these tight coils to create cones
All four cones are ready. Just joining all four cones together and making the flower. Then taking here half strip of yellow color and creating one tight coil for the stem. And taking one fourth strip of light green color and wrapping it around this tight coil. So that we will have the nice stem to hold the flower. Like this and then just sticking it with the bottom part of the flower. With the similar method I have prepared some more flowers. Now I am just joining these flowers together to make nice purple bunch. So that it will be easier for us to stick it on the side of the frame. So I have just curled the bottom strip little bit in a shape. So that we can arrange it nicely. And the bunch is ready looking very very beautiful then uh, to create next some filler flowers I am here taking half strip of off-white color and making one tight teardrop shape I am going to join total three teardrops together to make the flower and with the same procedure I have prepared three more flowers it will work like a filler wherever required now to create the scroll here I am taking again one strip of dark green color divided it in four parts gather it all together fold it from center and creating the scroll using pointed tweezer. Similarly I have already prepared some more. Now taking back my frame and I am going to decorate this with my handmade flower bunch, scrolls and pillar flowers. like this then just to fill the gaps between some flowers and scrolls here I have created some small leaf shape using one fourth strip of light green color just to balance the color combination everything is very dark so to balance all together I am putting here light green color leaves and at the end I am just adding one cute sentiment smile forever in the bottom this is a handwritten sentiment using brush pen. And that's it for today. 
the beautiful hexagonal shaped frame is ready you can stand it easily on your desk or you can just press the back stand to gift it to anyone and slide the photograph from top super duper easy to operate as well so that's it for today hope you enjoyed my video please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos and please click on bell icon for the latest updates and notifications thanks for watching see you next time bye bye